Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. There is going to be a part in this video that is going to be hard to watch, so I apologize for that. But very quickly, I would just like to say a big thank you to over 90,000 people that are now officially subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much. We are so close to 100,000, which would honestly be one of the biggest goals for me. I never thought I would even be close to reaching that milestone yet here we are and it looks very very doable i just wanted to let you know that i am very very grateful with that being said i do hope you guys will enjoy today's video dude i never can tell if it's purple oh nice that's really good her uh, really good supplies actually we'll take that for herb i don't see do you see a color here like i <laughs> i mean i guess because there is no purple you know so you cannot see it but we get a pet right that's a good loot. Oh, but holy this loot though. I'll take that. Yoink. Where is they gonna do it? <laughs> In the following clips, we were doing some TOB with C Engineer and Solo Mission. And me and Solo were on call together. And it was the most hilarious thing ever. But I didn't record the audio. So it is what it is. But uh, I guess at least you can hear my point of view. <laughs> I don't think I... <laughs> what is this? <there>? Stop! <laughs> I quit! <laughs> I quit! What is this, dude? Oh, man. <laughs> Wait, the engineer is making everything fucking... <laughs> Bro! <laughs> all the melee spots are fucked! <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. Dude, all, actually, all the mini spots are screwed. I'm raging. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> I, can't, I can't breathe. There is, <laughs> there's no... <laughs> there's like no mini <laughs> I can't. I can't breathe, man. This is not okay. Holy shit. I'm actually struggling to breathe. I can't breathe, man. I'm dying over here. You only get MVP when everyone else dies. Today's AFK activity while editing will be pass control. Pest control and fletching. So I'm just making a bunch of headless arrows right now. And then I'll buy a bunch of broad arrow heads. Which is going to be insanely fast fletching XP. But here's the first one. 81 already. Uh, I can get this to 99 in almost no time I'd say. And the reason for pest control. One of the tasks is to equip full void. It's going to give us 100. But what I can do after that. Is I can actually sell full void. Because I do not plan on using it anywhere. And I can buy experience in prayer with the points. And that is what we're going to be going for. I do not know how long I'll stay here for. But if I can get full void out of it, we'll take a free 100 points while editing. There it is. 25 million defense XP. And with that, we are now completed with attack, strength, defense and hit points. Meaning that I'll probably grab my range gear and use range for more best control. <laughs> Well, we are done with agility training for now. There is 80 agility, did a bunch of, well, a little bit of sepulcher, got to 57 marks, which is not a lot, but it's something to start off with. And I've also been fletching the whole way through. 
and our fletching level is now 83. So I did a bunch of tasks, did some agility, rounded my stats to 80. I'll leave construction to the very end and I'll leave room crafting for when I complete the diaries. I just chuck every single lamp into room crafting. Stats are looking pretty nice. I have never been a person that really enjoys skilling that much, but when you're getting 2.4 million mining experience an hour, you know what? Even mining becomes interesting. I've actually been enjoying it and since, you know, it's the morning, I'm just getting into it. Uh, I might as well finish off 99 mining. I'm not far off at all, uh, especially with these experience. Wait, it's going up to 2.5 million. The last time I did it on 14x or 12x, I was getting 1.7, 1.8 mil. Now it seems to be 2.5 million mining XP an hour on my level. That is crazy. I love it. Um, the reason why I actually came here uh, was because I want to get 91 smithing because then I can complete Ardun Elite Diaries after reaching level 90 agility. So you see what I was doing, right? I need 10 more agility levels and I need one more smithing level in order to finish a very big diary that's gonna give me a ton of runecraft XP. Um, and yeah, this, this is the first thing that came to mind because I also wanna finish 99 mining. Here it is, the XP rate plummeted a little bit, but still 2.4 mil an hour over the course of almost an entire hour for uh, someone that doesn't usually skill for this long. There it is, 98 mining. And here we go, a lot of mining later, and there it is, 99 mining, 250 extra points, I can now get a mining cape, not that I will need that at any point. I also got to 92 smithing in the process, very very cool, All right, it's time to do something else now, no more mining. I honestly enjoyed that, uh, which is, you know, kind of weird, but I had fun, so, yeah. Ooh. Okay, another God Sword Shard of a Minion number three. I don't actually remember which one I need. It's been a while. I've been very dry. Look, 183 right now on the kill count. No drops aside from this cool God Sword Shard of a Minion. But even if it's a duplicate, uh, that still means I can just make multiple God Swords. And uh, one of the tasks is to equip all God Swords. So I know in one of my previous videos, I said I don't know what I'm going to do with like Zami Hilt, for example. Well, it's going to be three points, basically. So it's always going to come in pretty useful. I am staying here, hopefully, until I get at least one unique. Then I'll return and do more TOB, I think. Some Battle Staffs and Death runes. That's okay, I guess, to charge our Trident. Ooh, okay, we'll take those. I got MVP and you got a purple. I see how it is, dude. That's a scam. If you get Rapier, we're going to fight. Okay, I, I'm okay with that. Oh my loot. First thing we're gonna buy from this shop, let's just check the prices. Ooh, okay. Alright, not too bad. So firstly, we're gonna buy this Obsidian Helm. And that's gonna be pretty solid because that's gonna be my best in slot strength helm. And uh, I think I'll use it over the Verax, in TOB especially. I still have a bunch of this left, but I cannot buy everything, so I'm not gonna buy anything right now. But eventually I wanna buy these two as well. Oh, second purple, let's go! Oh, I'm oh, I'm so happy, dude, let's go. Okay, okay, dude. No, no double Avernic. Anything but the double Avernic, boys. Anything but the double Avernic. Oh, man. If I can get Rapier, that's so huge, so I don't need to charge my tent anymore. Alright, well, here we go. Okay, nice, I'm happy with that. I am, I'm actually really happy with that. Okay, two more Justiciar pieces and we're doing Inferno, man. This is sick. Well, then, here's the thing that's a bit hard to watch. Um, I left the body in the chest and never took it. I don't know why. I was distracted and I thought I clicked the bank thing because I always click bank your items. But for some reason, I didn't click it. So I literally left a very important, very expensive piece of armor in a goddamn chest and mood from here on like just completely swaps like I was like happy, giggling, smiling, everything was hilarious from here on I'm just sad and depressed but um, it is what it is you know I will definitely learn from this mistake and in the future I will make sure I loot everything because Honestly, it, it, this is pretty hard to even edit. I basically just left 80 million items just in the chest because, you know, who cares? Um, but yeah, this is a bit rough, so hopefully we can get more purples. But yeah, that, that was rough. That's like 20 hours just throwing it off of the, uh, like out the window. 
it, it, it's it's rough, but it is what it is. I can't change the past now. Did I not take it? Did I not take it? Where is it? Wait, it goes in the chest? Did I? I don't have it. I legit don't have it. I didn't pick it up. What? How did I not pick it up? You are kidding me, dude. I am so sad right now. I am actually so depressed. I just want to end the stream. How did I not take it? <laughs> it's not even funny though. I... Oh my god. <laughs> dude, I never took it. Oh, I'm so sad. I looked at the VOD, you didn't take it. <laughs> no, man. What? I'm so sad. No. What? All right. Well, I'm fucking annoyed right now, but that's good loot. Hopefully we get another body. Well, at least every time I get a loot now, I'll make sure to bank all. Fuck me. You're gonna get chest plate. Good luck, buddy. A rip. <sighs> Happens, mate. I mean, you could have gotten three room plate bodies instead, you know? My god. Right, so, I just sold around 10,000 more Chaos runes, or maybe 20,000, I don't quite remember. The reason for it is we're gonna buy an Obsidian plate body and legs. We're gonna wear all of it. And that is a hundred pointer and now I'm actually just gonna sell it back because I don't need this and then we're gonna buy onyx now I'm not gonna get the full value back obviously, but I do have full bandos, which is much better than just obsidian What do we got from this one? There's still always that small chance of a pet, but we got some uh, Quite good quite good loot not bad. I mean Yeah, the loot is good. The loot is good well, I just got spoon fed. There we go. Got an abyssal whip. Ran out of uh, <laughs> charges almost on my tent, so decided to do a task of these. Just killed like five, and I got it. Very happy. I'm gonna stay here for the end of this task, though. Yeah, I forgot to do this earlier. I had a magic. Ch oh, 89. Nice. Uh, but most importantly, I actually need to dig the roots because that's the task. So I already grew magic tree earlier, but I never actually dig the roots out of it. So I gotta do this now. Alright, so this might be the world record of the longest grown magic tree being chopped down in the universe of history. I already got 150k woodcutting XP, 180k firemaking XP, and I can't get this damn tree cut. Like, what is going on? I need the roots, man. No way, we chopped it. We got 250k experience. There are the roots, and there is the task. Some Aventos, some Death Runes. We'll take those. Okay, another whip, Pog. Nice, sick. Alright, so that's what I wanted. Now I have two extra whips. I'll probably go do some bandos and just mainly TOB from here on out. Alright, here we have it. A very first Trident of the Seas. We do want to get 10 Kraken Tentacles, but this will be very, very helpful. Decent loot as always. We would MVP again, I think. Yeah. Do we get some Vials of Blood and Swamp Tar? Right. Oh, <gasps> no. <gasps> no! Oh my god. Another Tacit. This Tacit's number four, I think. Yep, Tacit's <laughs> number four. I just want the hilt. That's why I'm doing this, because hilt is so important in TOB. But instead, we get fourth Tacit's. Um, what I can do with this, because... I mean, I could Alchem, right? For 170k. But what I can actually do is put them in the Death Coffer. So if at any point I die, I can basically reclaim my items for free. So I might sacrifice one pair of these uh, to just, you know, put them in the death's coffin. <gasps> yes! That's huge! Okay! Godsword Shard 1. Now we have 1, 2, and 3, and I have a Zamorak Hilt in the bank. Meaning that I can equip a Godsword. But most importantly, when we finally do get that Bandos Hilt drop that we've been wanting to get for the longest of time, we will finally be able to actually use it. So this is amazing. I'm very, very happy. That was off a minion as well. So that is huge. Now only the hilt to go. All right. So we ended the trip a little bit early because we can now create our very first god sword. And I'm not quite sure how to do this, but I'm just assuming you use things on the anvil. And that is a Godsword Shard 1 and 2, and then maybe I use it again. And that should maybe be the Godsword Blade, and then we add the Hilt to the Blade. 
to create a Zamora Godsword for now. We can have a better one later when we do get the Zami Hilt because I can always just dismantle it, create a Hilt and Blade so we can basically use this with everything. But that's huge because now we can wield this and that is a task. Equip a Godsword. And I think this is a solid place to end this video. In the next one I'm gonna do more TOB, hopefully get more purples that I actually take rather than just, you know, throw them away. And on top of that, I hope we are also going to get that Bandos hilt. So once again, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and uh, I apologize for my mistake and I'll make sure I redeem it in the very next episode. Have a good one, everyone, and bye-bye.